The happy airs of Orcus waft from Robert Moran's Rosario Resort. Early on a Sunday, 102 years ago, strains of wonderful music awoke newspaper writer Dolly Madison as she stayed at the Orcas Island mansion of retired Seattle mayor, shipbuilder, and philanthropist Robert Moran. Hazy visions of heaven with its choirs of sweet singers and golden harps arose, she wrote. Near and nearer the sound traveled. The faint notes of a pipe organ became discernible. The music grew louder, then louder. Phrases were recognized. Suddenly, an avalanche of sound pealed forth. Low, deep notes, the warbling of birds, then the snatches of happy airs. Her senses did not deceive her. Routinely, Moran manipulated player roles to create sunrise sounds on his 1,972 pipe German organ, an Aeolian after the god of wind. The 1913 instrument still weaves magic in the five-floor, 117-year-old Shangri-La that Moran named Rosario for the nearby strait. Expanded and run as a resort under several owners since 1960, it's again for sale. The Bartow family of Anacortes seeks an entity to implement a 10-year Seabrook Suncadia-like redevelopment while retaining Moran's vision and integrity. Moran, 1857 to 1943, forged an impressive, if improbable, existence. Born in New York slums, he arrived at Yesler's Wharf in Seattle at age 17 with only a dime. Seven years hence, the entrepreneurial machinist founded Moran Brothers Dry Dock, which over two decades built steamers, barges, and the USS Nebraska, a battleship active from 1904 to 1923. Along the way, Moran won two one-year terms as Seattle mayor, straddling the city's devastating Great Fire in 1889. Though lauded for swift recovery measures, Moran later deflected such phrase. The fire simply cleared the ground and made it possible to build what is today one of the most beautiful cities in the United States, he told the Seattle Post-Intelligencer in 1909. It did more than that, however. As the electrical engineer would say, it put the peak load on its citizens, morally and physically. Moran was facing his own challenge of destiny. Told by doctors at age 47 that he had six months to live, he left his Seattle empire and in 1906 decamped to peaceful Orcas, the gem of the San Juans. There he bought thousands of acres and carefully built his waterfront Rosario estate in the new landscape amid family and frequent guests, living to age 86. Guiding him were the hand-hewn arts and crafts movement, his long-held shipbuilding sensibilities, and a deep respect for nature, which inspired his donation of what became next door Moran State Park, including the breathtaking 2,400-foot Mount Constitution. Who will carry on Moran's life-enhancing showpiece? Perhaps they will only need to experience its music. In our first then photo, dominating the Rosario Music Room circa 1921 is its 1,972 pipe Aeolian organ, hidden behind non-functional decorative mahogany pipes. Here, visitors enjoyed daily organ concerts directed by Moran. At center above is a stained glass depiction of Belgium's Antwerp Harbor that Moran commissioned. In our second then photo, this southwest facing view is from the 1920s. Moran's Rosario five-floor mansion, situated on the east leg of Orcas Island, overlooks Cascade Bay. The island's west leg is in the background. In our third then photo, Robert Moran in 1889, while serving as Seattle mayor in the year of the Great Fire. 
Today, for the first time after a 15-month pandemic shutdown, Christopher Peacock, general manager of Rosario Resort and Spa, performs for guests several piano pieces accompanied by island images in the mansion's music room on January 21st. Peacock, who also plays the room's aeolian organ from a balcony, has provided regular concerts for visitors for an astounding 42 years. In 1985, the historian published a 72-page, 123-photo book, Rosario Yesterdays, that is still on sale. For more information, visit rosarioresort.com. Also today, the same vantage as our then photo shows Robert Moran's mansion and grounds at Rosario Resort and Spa. The complex includes a marina, dining, lodging, and next-door proximity to Moran State Park.